man. Business news from the Capital Region. This is Washington Business Report with ABC7 National Correspondent Rebecca Cooper. Welcome to Washington Business Report. Thanks for joining us for a fresh look at business and finance and how it affects you. And this week, it certainly felt like it was going to be a pretty bleak week for your wallet. Fed Chair Janet Yellen said stocks are simply overvalued, while several high-flying tech stocks like Twitter and Yelp took big dives. But the week ended on an up note, with new job numbers a reason for some optimism. We'll talk about the big business headlines coming up in the roundtable. Plus, in our small business spotlight, it's commencement time, and we have some valuable tips on the do's and don'ts when it comes to hiring new graduates. But first, it's Mother's Day. And when you meet this week's newsmaker, you might be tempted to take her simply at face value and decide she's just that glamorous mom on the playground. But don't be fooled. Susanna Quinn is the creator of a new app called Velux that's generating big headlines nationwide and big numbers in the Washington market. That's an impressive feat considering the growing graveyard of good ideas for apps that never make it to market. So we sat down with this working mom to find out how she turned her concept into an actual business that's making money and making waves. Susanna Quinn, welcome to Washington Business Report. You have been a big name in Washington for many years. Now you're getting attention for a whole new reason, a startup called Velux. What is Velux? Velux is a new app and it's on-demand fitness and beauty services delivered to your home at market price. You were literally on the playground thinking about what busy moms needed and came up with this idea. A lot of us have great ideas, but we never create a business. Talk to us about this startup because it is the perfect example of an organic startup. When did you have the idea? How did it come to you? Well, I had, my husband says that I'm a problem solver and I built a business to support, I built a real estate business to support my daughter when I was a single mom. So years later, my husband said, you should start another business. And I said, well, I don't sew, I don't invent what kind of a business. And he said, you're a problem solver, solve a problem. And a problem that I'd solved in my own life was that I just didn't have enough time to get the things done I needed to get done to be healthy, to look good, and to feel good. And so I started bringing the providers into my home. And it was... Let's face it, the reason you're so well known in Washington is your husband uh, was White House counsel. He ran uh, and does still run one of the biggest firms in Washington, Quinn and Gillespie. You have been a corporate wife with that as a full-time job ever since you left real estate. And you've busy mom so right you were you were having to go to events in washington as a job so the hair oh, and makeup absolutely. were almost part of your work i can see why men and women alike need this it feels like a luxury but it can be such a good service but how do you convince them that this is something they need rather than just an app for the one percenters well Velux is for people who are already getting these services, and I'm making it faster and easier and cheaper for them to do it. For example, sure, there are people who only get blow dries for a special occasion or, you know, only have a yoga lesson once in a while, but the fitness and beauty industry is a billion dollar industry. There are plenty of people out there who are already getting these services, and Velux is just making it easier for them. And we're priced at market price. You are. The prices are uh, really accessible. And as soon as you told me this idea and I saw that glint in your eyes, I knew it was a brilliant idea. But it, to me, as someone who covers the world of startups, it seemed overwhelming, the thought, because mm -hmm. so many startups fail, even with good ideas. It seemed overwhelming to think that you could actually bring it to market. It is overwhelming. There's nothing about it that's not overwhelming. But even when I'm doing the most tedious thing, uh, looking at spreadsheets or dealing with contracts, it's fun because I'm passionate about it. It's a great idea. People love it. The clients love it and the service providers love it. The service providers, my fitness and beauty experts, so you take a woman in a salon. She makes eight, 15 hours, stands around, maybe has work, maybe doesn't, hopes for commissions, hopes for tips. And at Velux, she's making twice the money in half the time and she's creating her own schedule. So I have single moms who can now pick up their kids from school or make it to their kids' activities, which is, it's terrific. You've had great success in business before, but you knew nothing about the world of apps. How did you learn all the things that you didn't know to get to where you are? 
It really starts with a good network. I have a great network, and I was able to reach out to people, tell them what I was interested in doing, and they connected me to people who helped me learn what I needed to learn. I reached out to a politician whom I know, and he introduced me to two entrepreneurs who introduced me to my app developer. Four clicks and someone shows up and does your hair or makeup. And yet with every click, there's a thousand decisions that have to be made. I had a daily call for seven months with my app developer just going over all of the different choices to create a workable product and a great user interface that people love to get on and use. And you're very specific about what you want. You have no hesitation. Mm -hmm. You, who has no clue how to build the app, seem to have no hesitation telling the person who built the app how you want it done differently. What does that take? It, it takes a little bit of uh, oh, we fought. confidence. My app, my app developer and I fought a lot. And he was right, I would say, the majority of the time. But, but you still say don't hesitate to yeah. put your Oh, and, opinion. Yeah, and building an app is so much more complicated than people realize because you have to you have to have images. So you have to have a designer who presents you with images and I didn't like the images that he came up with, so one day I shot my own image. One of the other things I like about this app is in the midst of thinking about all the other things that you wanted to include, you also included one of your favorite charities, Share Our Strength. I thought that this was a really good opportunity to to donate a portion of each service to Share Our Strength's No Kid Hungry campaign because that way every time you get a blow dryer, every time you get your makeup done, you're helping connect a hungry child in America to a meal. And I think it's really important to have a corporate culture of generosity. I think, you know, even my service providers, it makes them so happy knowing that by going out and, you know, instructing, doing personal training, they're actually making a donation to, to charity by doing their own work. Solving problem, Susanna Quinn. <laughs> Congratulations on a successful launch and a successful business. Thanks for joining us on Washington Business Report. Thank you so much for having me, Rebecca.